competition for science olympiad preparation i hope you all are well and in good health i am dr tanuwats your mentor and we also have with us mrs arpita sisodia who is my co teacher and she will assist you during the session kids i request you all to be muted during the session and please just unmute yourself when you have to answer a question when i'll ask you and you have to answer only then just unmute yourself and answer good so, afternoon ma'am good afternoon so um, i uh, i have 7 uh, plus years of teaching experience and uh, before starting the session let's uh, have a brief introduction of you as well so can we start with the uh, swastik Swastik, can you unmute yourself and give give a brief introduction of yourself? Yes, ma'am. Yes, go ahead. I'm Swastik Biswal from class five, uh, section E, oh. in Joseph Convent Higher Secondary School. I oh. live in Sambalpur, Odisha. Oh, great. And uh, Vivan, hello, Vivan. How are you? Yes, ma'am. Good evening. My name is Vivan Taksena. I am in fifth grade and. I study in Lotus Valley International School. I live in Noida. Thank you. Great. Tejom, hello Tejom. How are you? Hello, ma'am. My name is Tejom, and I'm from grade grade five. Uh, in JSS Private School. I live in Dubai, and I'm from India. Uh, I'm I'm from Gujarat. Okay, great. Uh, Gatik, Gatik Arora. How are you? Mama, I'm fine. My name is Gatti Karora, and I study in class five in Vivek High School, sector seventy, Mohali. Great. Anika, Anika Podar, how are you, Anika? Mom, fine. Mom, my name is Anika Podar, and I live in Noida, and I study in the Khetan School. Okay, great. Wali, Wali Mani, how are you, Wali? Ma'am, my name is not Wali Mani, ma'am. My name is Piyush. My mother name is Wali. My father name is Mani, ma'am. Okay, so, okay. I'm sorry for that. Actually, you're locked on uh, from this name, so actually that name was visible. So I just said that. Okay, so my name is Piyush. I'm from Bangalore. I study NAFIL. Okay. Good at science, ma'am. That's it. Okay, great, great student. So let's start today's session. okay the topic for today's session is animals and today we will be discussing habitat of animals body covering of animals and eating habit of animals so coming to the very first topic of the session that is the habitat of animals so what is a habitat habitat hota gaya hai habitat is a place where an animal lives it grows it reproduces and it do all the activities so this place is called a habitat so kids you all know that on our planet we have diversity of animals right and these different type of animals they live in different type of places like some live on land in forest some fly in air and some live in water so on the basis of habitat we classify these animals into five groups that is terrestrial animal arboreal animal aquatic animals aerial animals and amphibians now coming to terrestrial animals terrestrial animals are the animals that live on land but a land can has many different forms it can be a forest an area that is covered entirely with trees or a desert a sandy area a mountain a cool area or a polar region a region which is extremely cold now coming to the animals that live in forest but what is a forest how can we describe a forest A forest is a vast area that is densely covered with trees and other type of plant. And by other type of plants, I mean 
different type of herbs, shrubs, creepers, and climbers. Okay, and there are also insectivorous plants. Do you know about insectivorous plants? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, can you name yes. any one insectivorous plant? Yes. Banana plant. Trap. Great, great kids, great. So there are also plants that eat insects. So a forest is an area that is entirely covered with trees, and there are n number of animals living in forest. And some examples are lion, deer, elephant, fox, and tiger. But kids in a forest, there are different type of animals, and they also inhabit different type of areas. Like a bear live in a cave, rabbit. they live in a burrow and some small animals like snail they live on the forest floor and lion live in the den yeah you are right now talking of animals that live in desert what is a desert okay what image comes to your mind when i say the word desert ma'am can i say yeah sure Ma'am, can I say? Ma'am, desert is a hot place which has lots of sand. Ma'am, there yes. are small ponds called oases. Ma'am, the animals which live there are camels, oh. not snakes. Ma'am, ma actually, uh, desert is not only sand and uh, hot and all that. Ma'am, uh, deserts can only also be like uh, covered with snow and all yeah, that. Desert, yes. Ma'am, ma 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 also it is covered with pyramids and other. but in this chapter we are we are we we are concerned about only the hot desert because the polar that is they are the polar areas and we will discuss uh, the animal that inhabit cold desert in polar regions okay so desert is a sandy area an area that is hot because it receive very little rainfall and the days in a desert are comparatively they are hot and the nights are comparatively cooler and animals like camel kangaroo rattlesnake phoenix fox they inhabit desert areas okay so now we also call camel as a ship of the desert right yes everyone knows that right but there is a thing that i will tell you nobody knows like kangaroo rat here you can see kangaroo rat you can ma'am i know kangaroo rat yes yeah, okay Ma'am, it all it live in a burrow. Yeah, it lives in a burrow, but it never drinks water. Yes, ma'am. It this, never drinks water. This is this is an amazing thing about this animal that this animal never drinks water. But yes, ma'am. Then you will ask me, "Ki ma'am, fir iski water ki requirement kaise puri hoti hai?" Because we need water to survive, right? Okay, so it eats seeds, and when these metabolize, these metabolize. जो मेटाबॉलिक वाटर होता है दैट वाटर इट फुलफिल्स द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दिस एनिमल ओके सो दिस इज हाउ इट सर्वाइव्स इन द डेजर्ट अमेजिंग नाउ माउंटेन एनिमल्स माउंटेन रीजन आर द रीजंस व्हिच आर कूल यू नो दे आर कूल एंड दे मे और मे नॉट बी कवर्ड विद स्नो एंड इन प्लेसेस एंड इन सच प्लेसेस एनिमल्स लाइक याक एंड माउंटेन गोट्स एनिमल्स दैट हैव hair dense hair over their body are found now animals about animals living in polar polar regions polar regions are the regions they are extremely cold like the regions near the north pole and south pole they are called as the polar regions as they are permanently covered with snow and in these regions animals like polar bear penguin arctic hare they are found now see kids you can see these are the animals they have thick fur over their body they have dense covering over their body and it is because these animals they have to survive in the cold habitat so they need to be warm they keep themselves uh, warm so they have dense fur over their body now talking of arboreal animals arboreal animals are the animals that spend most of their life on trees like monkey if we all go to the park you know we see squirrels you know running here and there they live on trees so they are the arboreal animals they feed on the trees they play they sleep on the trees and they grow their young ones on the trees like examples are monkey squirrel 
koala and sloth now aquatic animals we all know that aquatic animals are the animals that live in water in water bodies like lake ponds ocean and seas but aquatic now this is a very important point while preparing for olympiads an aquatic habitat is of two type it is a fresh water habitat and a salt water habitat fresh water habitat is an habitat that has free flowing water in it and in the salt water habitat the water is not free flowing so a fresh water habitat is a naturally occurring water habitat and since the water is free flowing so it has the minimum quantity of dissolved salts in it like ponds river streams and variety of fish birds and insects they live in a fresh water like there are different type of fishes some live in uh, salt water some live in fresh water so example we have like rohu rohu is a fish that inhabit a fresh water and duck duck you mostly see duck near the river right so they live near the fresh water habitat not talking of salt water habitat like oceans and seas they are salt water habitat they have dissolved salts in them the the water in them is saline and animals like whale octopus sea horse and dolphin they live in a salt water habitat now aerial animals aerial animals are the animals that stay mostly in, in air and they do and they do most of the activities in air and for this they have wings so that they can fly in air like bird and bat but uh, all the birds are aerial animals anyone all birds are aerial aerial animals no ma'am oh, no. no. can you name any uh, flightless bird or a bird which cannot fly ma'am ostrich kiwi and ostrich yes 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 ma'am yes ma'am can yes. you tell uh, me again that how kangaroo rat can live without water okay actually what happens is it eats the food jab bhi hum khana khate hain when whenever we eat food it get metabolized and during that process water is produced and we call this as metabolic water so in kangaroo rat it does not need to take water from out, from outside this metabolic water that is produced by the body for uh during the metabolism uh, during the food metabolism it actually fulfills the water requirement of that animal this is basically an adaptation of this animal for living in a hot hot area or an area where water is less and you will uh, read more about this when you will go to the higher classes okay okay ma'am thank you ma'am for clearing my doubt welcome so they these are some of the birds which do not fly like ostrich penguin emu and kiwi so you have to remember this point that birds are aerial animals but all the birds are not aerial right now amphibians kids amphibians are the most fascinating creatures in the nature why because they can live both on land and in water right like frog toad and salamander they are the animals that live both on land and in water and we call them as amphibians now practice time let's do a quick revision and of the even tortoises live on land and water yeah yes now practice question let's do some practice of the question uh, practice of what we have learned now the question is select the option that correctly fill the blank you can write the answer in the chat box kids frog and toad are option a is okay so just now we have studied that frog and toad are the animals that live both on land and in water so they are amphibians but even though we know the answer even though we know the answer we have to rule out 
the other options option a is aquatic animals no they are not aquatic b arboreal no frog and toad they don't live on trees c amphibians amphibian is a correct answer and d plant eating animals this is also incorrect because frog and toad are not plant eating animals they eat insects so the correct answer is c no, that is answer that is the correct answer answer c now let's do again a question yeah. now the question is complete the given analogy and select the correct answer okay. it's in these type of questions you should keep in mind that there is a clue it consists of a first part and a second part in the first part some clue is given and the second part the second part should satisfy the same relationship so the the clue in the first part is rohu fresh water kids just now we have studied that rohu is a fresh water animal it inhabits a fresh water right so the first part is an organism and the second part is the habitat so organism and the habitat so second part should also satisfy the same relationship like monkey is an animal and x should be the habitat of this animal so x should be monkey live on trees monkey is an arboreal animal so x is arboreal but we have to rule out the other options as well so a is aquatic which is incorrect b is arboreal which is correct c is aerial which is incorrect and d is terrestrial so the correct answer is b excuse me ma'am yes ma'am terrestrial is partly correct sometimes yeah. also come he come in the terrestrial ha huh, yes but i have been uh, while discussing the arboreal animal we did not say that they live completely on trees they stay mostly on trees because all the animal like lion it does not live on a tree giraffe does not live on a tree there are some animals that spend most of their time on trees they come on land they can come on land but they but they they live but they also live on trees they they grow their young ones on trees so this is that this is actually uh uh this is this is uh, this is actually a uh, the difference basic difference between the two the terrestrial animal and the arboreal animals correct they can come on land we can see monkey on land but they uh, they stay mostly on trees so the correct answer is b yes ma'am you have told that uh, they spend most of their life on hmm. trees not yes, tell yes. permanent Leon. Yes. 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 Now let us solve an uh, NSO workbook question so that uh, our concepts get clear, right? So now the question is: Select the animal that is found in the similar habitat as the animal shown here. Kids, in the figure you can see the figure of a in the uh, square box there is a figure of kangaroo rat. and just now we have discussed kangaroo rat lives in a desert right so now let's check out the options option a is a penguin no penguin lives in a polar region option b is camel yes camel lives in a desert option c is bear bear lives in a polar region and d is a deer so deer lives in a forest it is a terrestrial animal so the option a c and d are incorrect the correct answer is b because camel also lives in a desert and kangaroo rat also lives in a desert the correct answer is b now body covering of animals before moving to the topic can anyone tell me why is a body covering necessary for an organism for any person yes protecting protecting itself and to protect the animal yes so protecting yes. itself from the environment conditions okay yes great kids great 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 okay so i explain it to you see kids different type of animals live in different type of areas like some region are not very cold and some are very cold right so like 
take our example like when we in during the summer time we wear cotton clothes to keep ourselves cool but during the winter we wear warm clothes because so that we can keep ourselves warm so different animals that inhabit different different areas they have different type of body covering to suit their environment right and it so it helps to uh, animal to survive in its habitat and it also protects the animal from its predators different animals have different body coverings like fur scales shell feathers spines and cuticle now fur what is a fur a fur is a dense covering of hair that covers the body of mammal kids this is a very important point to remember that fur is present only in mammals there are different type of animals you must be aware of like there are there are um, fish reptiles you know amphibians so there are birds so fur is present only on the body of mammals but still there are mammals who do not have, all the mammals don't have a fur covering fur is present like on the on the body of polar bear arctic fox rabbit the fur is present in them but there are some animals like dolphin rhinoceros and elephant the fur is not present over their body ma'am like we also don't have fur no we don't have fur we have hair this is hair that we have on our body we call them hair fur yes. fur and bat also have hair, have hair. ma'am bat also have hair yes but because bat is a mammal bat is not a bird is the polar bear that has skin it is known as blubber ma'am he gives blood by laying eggs but he also gives milk to its baby yes ma'am because it is a mammal bat is a mammal partially i think no not partially um okay who is speaking may i know the name devan i am devidatta panda okay hi devi datta okay this is not a bat is a mammal uh, because it has wings so this is an adaptation of a mammal there are different type of mammals so uh, it flies in the air but we do because it has a uh, characteristic which put them in the category of mammals so that's why because they give birth to young ones they feed their young ones right so they are mammals but they have wings okay so now coming to the topic of scales can i tell you something yeah sure vivan the smallest living mammal is the kitty's hawk nose nose oh. bat oh yeah really good good vivan now coming to the topic scales scales are the hard overlapping structures that are present on the body of animals like fish and reptiles and they cover the body of these animals and protect the inner soft skin that is present under the scale in these animals kids uh, i have told you that scales are present on the body of fish and reptiles but do but do you know that body of birth, uh, scales are also present on the body of birds do you know this no ma'am put your hands up put your hands if you uh, if you know you don't know ओके सो स्केल्स आर आल्सो प्रेजेंट इन द बर्ड बट अब आप बोलोगे कि वो तो बर्ड्स के तो फेदर्स होते हैं लाइक उनमें स्केल्स कहां होते हैं आई नो वेयर इट इज इट इज ऑन देयर लेग्स यस ग्रेट फॉर दैट स्नैक्स इफ बाइट इफ इज अ नेक्स बाइट टू ईगल्स लेग द स्केल्स विल स्टॉप द पॉइजन ऑफ द स्नैक यस ग्रेट 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 सो यस ही इज राइट uh the body of uh, scales are present on the legs of the birds now shell body of animals like tortoise snail oyster and crab they have a hard covering over their body like and we call this as shell and what is the function of this shell the shell protects the inner soft organs of these animals now coming to feathers feathers are the body covering that is present over the body of birds birds cover with feathers ma'am feathers also can help to reduce the weight of the birds yes 
yes yes this is an adaptation because birds they fly in the air yes and birds don't have urinary bladders ma'am ma'am because yes. it's too hard to fly for them ma yes it's because too... they cannot uh, they it's... because if a bladder is there they will have to store their urine and this is an adaptation for them to fly adaptation is a dif different topic that we will uh, study when we will go in higher classes right so now coming to the function of feathers they they protects the bird body from the environment and they also keeps the bird body warm and there are uh feathers like flight feathers that are present in the wings of the bird and they help them to fly and but penguin cannot fly yeah but, but penguin is a feather. bird see see kid feather is a peculiar feature which is present in all the birds penguin cannot fly yes it is a flightless bird but it is a bird we don't say it is that it is not a bird ma'am it is a happy bone means they have a Yeah, um, the voice is not clear actually. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, a porcupine has spines. Yes. Good. And then hatch your girls. And orca whales don't have um back bones, ma'am. What? Ah, uh, come again. And orca whales don't have back bones. Okay. They don't have. backbones ma'am okay and no they are mammals they are vertebrates so they they have backbones vertebrates all the vertebrates they have backbones okay, orca orca whale is a mammal so mammals are vertebrates the invertebrates do not have back vertebrates yes invertebrates do not have uh, backbone snake snake is a reptile snake has a backbone um let's stay on the topic kids so coming to the next uh, type of body covering that is spines yes ma'am ma spines or is an uh, spines is a uh, needle like layer on their armor means they have an armor and it is the outer layer of the armor yes needles are present needles are basically uh, sharp outgrowths in the on the body of animals like spiny anteater and the hedge hedgehog matlab all the kids you must have seen like um, uh, needle in your home your mom must be using needles so what happened when you touch these needles no when you touch it it has very pointy structure and immediately you want to take your hand off right from that so this is what happened when a uh, enemy an enemy of a spiny anteater on a or a hedgehog they they try to grab them though uh, the the spines they prick the predator and just uh, spiny anteater and hedgehog they just go away so they are needle like outgrowth present in the body also. okay and porcupine also yes porcupine also. can i say something Can I say something? These spines they act as an armor that protect these animals from the predators. Now cuticle, cuticle is a hard covering that is present over the body of insects like ants and beetle, and this also helps to protect the soft organs that is present on the body of these organisms from the predators as well as the harsh environment. I don't understand this cuticle. Ma'am, cutic uh, be beetle cuticle is the hardest. Yes. Ma'am, the beetle cuticle is the hardest. No, this is not. Ah, uh, the cuticle is same for every insect. Okay, ma'am. I think that. So. I did not understand this cuticle. Ma'am, ma'am, they breathe through the cuticles, ma'am. Yeah, they have um, small holes that we will study in the uh, in the next class. They have small holes on their body that helps them to breathe. But this is a topic that will be covered um, in the next class. Okay, kids. So let's go ahead. Now let's do yes. Ma'am, the, the flightless bird cannot fly because of their of their body weight. Yes, because of their body weight. Now. uh again let's do some practice of the question okay now study the question is study the given venn diagram identify x and select the correct answer so here comes the venn diagram what is a venn diagram kids 
kids a venn diagram is a overlapping circle it has circles in it and every circle represents a characteristic so while solving these questions you have to be careful while reading because you have because each uh, characteristic that is written it is peculiar uh, for that particular circle and the overlapping areas that means this part has characteristic of both the circle the circle 1 and circle 2 so in this given question we have to identify x and select the correct answer so let's see what it says circle 1 says animal that live on forest floor and circle 2 says animal with body covered with shell so now let's check the options now option a is butterfly but uh, butterfly is an insect body of butterfly is covered with cuticle right now next option is beetle body of also beetle cuticle. is also covered with cuticle and porcupine the body and of porcupine is a spine yes so option d is a snail so uh, so let's check whether it fulfills both yes. the criteria or not so snail that does it live on the forest floor yes, yes. it lives on the forest yes. floor and the second is animal with body covered with shell yes body of snail yes. is covered with shell so snail is the correct answer so correct answer is answer d now again let us do a question okay so body of the animal shown in the given picture is covered with okay so first we have to in this type of questions we have to first identify the picture the picture is of an oyster, oyster. the the picture is of an oyster and just now we have studied that body of an oyster is covered with shell so option a is shell students a is the correct answer but we have to also rule out the other answers as well so we have to check them so option b says scales no body of an oyster is not covered with scales scale is present on the body of reptiles birds and and rep fish 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 and option c says spines so spine and and um, hedgehog and hedgehog spiny ant eater and porcupine so this is also incorrect no option d is cuticle no this is not cuticle a butterfly and all insects yes yes so these this uh, rule out the other of this uh, rule out the other option and answer is a a shell also spines now let's do um, an nso workbook question now select the odd one out on the basis of body covering so students in these type of questions we have to carefully yeah, study and mam it's an ant oh great great but um, mam it's c yes the answer is c great great mam because ant is covered by yeah, mam because ant, ant has a cuticle but all, all other has a skin great great ant is covered with cuticles mam that's why it's ant yes yes kids you are right option a b and d they are uh, option a and b are reptiles and option d is a fish so a b and d body of all these animals is covered with scales and body of an ant is covered with cuticle so you all are obviously right so correct answer is c now about eating habits of animals now why do we need food why do an organism or an animal need food an animal need food to grow and develop different animals have different type of eating habits like some eat only plants some are carnivores they eat only animals and some are omnivores they eat both type of uh, food they are both plant eating as well as flesh eating animals so these different type of animals have their teeth and mouth and parts. humans are omnivorous and humans are also omnivorous yes humans are omnivorous that's herbivore herbivore some are only herbivores yeah some are herbivores because they eat only plant or their or plant products uh, but some of the human beings uh, also eat uh, meat they eat flesh 
राइट सो अगर इफ वी बेसिकली अगर अगर मैं कैटेगराइज करूं इफ वी बेसिकली कैटेगराइज अ ह्यूमन बीइंग दे आर ओमनिवोर्स वी आर हर्बीवोर बाय चॉइस राइट we are herbivo by some uh, some uh, people who do not eat meat they eat plants or 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 their products they are herbivo mm-hmm. by choice but but by eating habits human beings are omnivores excuse me ma'am yes ma'am the rabbit mother eats its baby when it dies but because after a day it stinks so much okay great great vivan great thank you for the information so according to the eating habits animals are herbivores carnivores and omnivores not talking of herbivores they are the animals that eat only plant or plant products and they have sharp incisors like sharp front teeth so that they can cut yes and they have sharp incisors and large molars and premolars for crushing and grinding the yes, food yes yes good who was this is <laughs> used for time devi datta panda great great great, great. great. Um, uh, rabbits have incisors to cut the grass they yes eat. yes they have sharp incisors yeah, they have sharp front teeth so that they can cut the grass right and they um, have a uh, large and flat uh, their back teeth are large and flat so that they can grind and chew their food well and some of the uh, herbivores are cow sheep goat and zebra now talking of carnivores we also know that they are the flesh eating animals the animals that eat ma'am they are mouth yeah, you are saying like... something nitya you are saying something you are on mute actually ma'am Ma'am, the uh, carnivores have can sharp canines and yes. molars and premolars for grinding and crushing their food. Yes, 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 yes. Students, uh, they have they have uh, sharp and pointed canines so that they can tear the flesh. They have to they have to uh, tear the flesh of the animal. So they have that's why they have pointed canines, sharp and pointed. Like we have pointed no pointed like uh, pointed things. So like knife. Ma'am, why they have Mom, why they have sh- why they have strong premolars and molars? Because, because they have they to flesh. Because they need to eat the flesh, and yes. to eat the flesh, uh, the canine teeth are used. So premolars and molars are not used. Okay, got it. Okay, I tell you. I I I tell you. Actually, uh, two processes are involved. First, they have to pierce the flesh of the animal and take it out. Right. they have to pierce the flesh and then uh, because the skin of the animal it is chewy so it is so they they need to be they have they need to chew the food so that's why they have strong premolars and molars so that they can ma'am, chew I their food okay ma'am ma'am i have a doubt okay yes come who is this ma'am hi swastik biswas excuse me hi swastik how are you Hi, ma'am. And ma'am, uh, if dog are omnivorous and we are also omnivorous, then why have dog, why have dog have only beak and ears, uh, but not ours? Come again, ma'am. Uh, if dog are omnivorous and we are also omnivorous, then why dogs only have beak and ears, but not ours? Ma'am, we do have canines, ma'am. That's why we can tear flesh. The food. We have, uh, we have pointed canines. See. Yeah, hands are pointed. We are not herbivores, so that's why um, they uh, like you can say that the dog teeth are more pointed than us. Like they ha- they have more pointed canines than our canines. That is an adaptation to their eating habit. But we also have pointed canines, and uh, all the carnivores they have strong premolars and molars for chewing their flesh. and now uh, uh, example of carnivores are lion tiger wolf and eagle excuse me ma'am yes ma'am guinea pigs have very sharp incisors okay yes great now omnivores are the animals you ma'am. all know very well they ma'am. yes and pig are looking like an herbivorous animal but they are also omnivores yes pigs are also omnivores so Omnivores they also have uh, sharp and flat incisors and broad premolars and molars for chewing their food and you all know very well example of like um, omnivores like human bear and crow now there are another type of organism that we call as scavengers 
they are the animals the that eat the and they are the animals who eat the uh, the uh, and dead and I dead bodies of animals. the animals. animals yes they they eat dead animals like vulture and hyena बट अभी आप बोलोगे कि अभी तो आपने बोला था तीन टाइप के होते हैं हरबीवोर्स कार्निवोर्स एंड ओमनिवोर्स अभी ये फोर टाइप का कैसे आ गया राइट सो दे आर एक्चुअली स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ कार्निवोर्स ऑल द कार्निवोर्स दे डू नॉट ईट डेड मीट ऑफ डेड एनिमल्स दे आर स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ कार्निवोर्स दैट फीड ऑन डेड बॉडीज एंड दे प्ले अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल डाउट Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. But when uh, the lion kills a deer, but it eats the dead deer. Yeah, but the meat is not raw. The meat is not. Um, the meat is not uh, what you can call. Uh, it's not uh, the meat is raw. It is fresh because uh, it is. It instantly kills the animal and it eats it. It cannot eat a live deer, right? it cannot eat a live deer it has to first kill the deer the meat is not stale the meat does not get stale so lion never eat a stale animal so these are uh, all the dead bodies they get they okay. uh, yes ma'am ma'am i have a doubt like ma'am uh, carnivores also eat the uh, animals and scavengers also eat the animals so what is the difference between them yes they I'm eat kidding. dead Things they eat dead animals, but carnivores want they to eat the hunted animals which are they have hunted. Which yes, yes, the carnivores that that we have discussed earlier, like lion, tiger, they eat fresh meat. They do not eat dead animals. Uh, an animal is lying there dead, and a lion or a tiger they will never eat such type of animals. Like scavengers, scavengers are the animal like vulture and hyena. They eat dead meat. They they eat meat. a stale meat right and they play a very important role in maintaining the balance in nature because they are they... the doctor of the farmings doctor animals they eat all the things okay. all the and okay. they smell it also smell and then eat okay so now uh, could you do a practice of what we have learned kids now study the given flow chart which of the given um alphabet represents a scavenger okay so now the flow chart uh, while solving such question kids we have to go clue by clue and then solve the question okay so the question is which of the given alphabet represents a scavenger so the first clue is it is an animal that means all the animals p q and r all the alphabets p q and r they represents an animal right the second clue is it eat only plants now there are two branches from this part one says yes and one says no so the yes part one is just not carnivorous so it will be go to down words yes so now p are the animals that eat only plants so p is a herbivore right now yes ma'am the second part is it eats only dead bodies of animals so now it will go down it, it will go down yes, yes. it will so, go to yes side so there is there are two parts right one says no and the other one says yes so the no one are the carnivores that do not eat dead bodies and r is the one that eat dead bodies so r is an animal that does not eat plant and eat only dead bodies of animals so r is the correct answer so option a is p p is incorrect because p is a herbivore r is the correct answer q q is an animal which is not a plant eating animal and second it does not eat dead bodies of animals so it is a carnivore so g, uh, a a c and d are incorrect correct answer is b yes anyone is asking a question ma'am i have to, i have to say something yes if we be a bear is not a scavenger so if we act like dead it will not kill us yes then uh, why it does not uh, happens in tiger tiger can smell tiger has the ability to smell to differentiate between a dead body and a live body a meat that has been uh, a fresh meat or a raw meat 
So and that also, is why I and feel. also, uh, like uh, you know, ma'am told that uh, only scavengers uh, will want to eat because then it eats the old one, no? So they will think that this is old and they will eat. Yes. But then this uh, tiger, it will hunt. Uh, it will hunt and then only eat. Yes. So the next question is now animal X has sharp and pointed canines. Animal X can be. So now in the question, the clue is we have to identify an animal that has sharp and pointed canines. Students, just now we have discussed sharp and pointed canines. It is a characteristic feature of which type Carnivore. of animal? Carnivorous. 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 Tiger and lion. Yes. It is a characteristic feature of carnivores. So animal X is a carnivore. So uh, option A is zebra. Zebra is incorrect because zebra is a herbivore. Goat again is also a herbivore. herbivore. Sheep. Horse herbivore. is also a herbivore. And option D is tiger. So tiger option D is correct because tiger is a carnivore, right? Now let us quickly solve an NSO workbook question. The question is dash is a carnivore it has sharp and pointed dash so it is a fill in the blank type of question and Me. we have to choose an option which satisfy or, or in which both the options are correct right so option a is cow cow is a carnivore no cow is a herbivore so this rule out the first option now option b is lion lion is a carnivore correct lion is a carnivore yes it has sharp and pointed incisors. No, it has sharp and pointed canines. Can so this also rules out the second C. option. Option C is tiger. Tiger, tiger is carnivore. Also yes. have canines, sharp and pointed canines. Has, yes, and it is a carnivore. So it has sharp and pointed canines. So option C is the correct answer. But we have to rule out the last option also. So rabbit is, is a carnivore. Hardy yes, rabbit is a herbivore. So this rules out the Second option. So the yes. correct answer is C. C. So that's for the uh, today's session, kids. I yes. hope you all have liked it. There is a form. There is a, a form in the chat box. Uh, you can quickly do the exercise part, and we will um, after some time we will discuss the question. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, will you send the notes after the class? Sure, sure, sure. Students, you will receive the recording of the class within 48 hours. Yes, ma'am. I got the third question wrong. We will discuss the question. Yeah, we will discuss. All the kids have done the question part, or someone is left. No, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm done and I got three out of five. Wow, great. Ma'am, I got five out of five. Okay, great. Ma'am, I also get five out of five. Great. So, all have finished? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I think all have finished the question part. All have some submitted. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma okay. Yes, ma'am. So the first question is select the incorrect pair. Okay. So we have to select a pair which is incorrect. So first there is a relationship. The relationship is of a an animal and it the place it inhibits. Like 
the first option is bear terrestrial so bear lives in the forest it is a terrestrial animal this option is correct option 2 is rattlesnake desert yes right rattlesnake lives in a desert yak desert no yak lives in a mountain region so this is a correct answer now the option d is penguin polar region penguin lives in a polar region so the incorrect pair is c so the correct answer in this option is c question 2 is which animal lives in the same habitat as a monkey so a monkey yeah. is a arboreal animal right as so we, we have to find on a tree yes a squirrel also lives on a tree so squirrel is also an arboreal animal so correct answer is a but we have to rule out the other answers as well right b option b is hare no hare lives in a forest c rattlesnake rattlesnake it's lives in a desert and d is camel camel also lives in a desert so the correct answer is a hey, ma'am uh, excuse me ma'am yes ma'am some snakes also live on tree but rat, uh, this is rattlesnake so it can't be rattlesnake lives in desert yes rattlesnake lives in a desert right so this in the Um, rattlesnake camouflage with uh, that uh, sand in the desert. Yes, it has adaptation that helps it to survive in the hot conditions. So the correct answer is A. Now the third question is, what is common between a porcupine and a hedgehog? B. Yes, B. They do they have a body covered with fur? No. do they no. have a body covered with spine yes 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 yes, yes. do they have their body covered with feathers no, no. they are not bird they are not birds right so this yes. this also rules out this option now yes, the sir. option is body covered with hair no they have hair no. over the body they have spines over the body so option yes. b is the correct answer which of the following animals is terrestrial as well as sharp incisors now we have to look out for an animal that is terrestrial and it also have sharp incisors now sharp incisors is the characteristic feature of which type of animals kids herbivore herbivore yes. yes yes you are right a sharp incisors is the characteristic feature of herbivores so we have to look for herbivores in the given options so option a is lion no lion is no. a carnivore wolf and tiger no. they are also carnivores option okay. d is zebra zebra is a herbivore so yes. it is a terrestrial animal yes it lives in the forest and it also has sharp Ma incisors yes and what are rodents rodents are small animals they are and they have uh, they 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 gnaw their food They gnaw. And they also known as gnawing animals. Gnawing is a different type of eating habit, and we will discuss them later on, right? And gnawing is like continuously biting. Yes, you must have seen a rat or a squirrel when you go to the park. Have you seen like um, a, a squirrel munching on food? It 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 held it held the food in his in his hand and uh, and and it continuously bite on that. So that is and th this is uh, this habit is called as gnawing. So rodents are the animals that gnaw their food. Man, Now, has has small holes called spiracles for breathing. No, rodents don't have. Insects have spiracles yes, over them. That insect I am telling. Yes, insects are the animals that have small holes on their body. Uh, we will discuss them later in the class, right? Now, uh, question five is select the correct pair on the basis of eating habit. Now we have to choose a pair. An option. Which pair are we having? Yes. they are they are they are scavengers they are scavengers uh, right vulture and hyena they feed on the dead bodies of animals yes 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 you are right but uh, but when we actually do a question like sorry sorry ma'am whales and dolphins have lungs and they do not lay so they are known as that mammals not uh, at aquatic animals yeah whales and uh, whale and dolphin they are aquatic mammals 
they are not fishes right but uh, kids what okay. i was telling you like when they when birth you... the new one they birth, give birth to their new one oh yes so like when uh, when we solve a question in any olympiad or in any exam when even if we know the correct answer we should always check the other answers as well to rule out their possibility of being correct so now in this question also the correct the first option is peacock and goat peacock is a peacock is an omnivore and goat is a herbivore so no. one is one is an omnivore and other is, is a does peacock no. and peacock is also an omnivore yes peacock is an omnivore and which animal does peacock eat peacock eat snakes yes snakes and uh, it uh, the i mean eat it can uh, eat grains also grains ma'am yes so it is an omnivore grains are a plant product so it can eat both type of food it can eat plant products or as as well as fish now bear bear is also an omnivore and deer is a herbivore so in this group also No. The eating habit of both the animals is not same, so this is also incorrect. Now, option D is cow and sparrow. Cow is a herbivore, but sparrow is an omnivore. So huh? Sparrow eat insects as well as it can eat grains, so it Grain. is an omnivore. Ma'am, sparrow eats which? Ma'am, I have a doubt. Yes. Ma'am, locust is an herbivore or omnivore? Locust is a herbivore. locust bunge on the plant products they 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 live on the plants you must be uh, hearing about like uh, there are locusts unhone pura um, like uh, all the vegetation they they destroy the vegetation so they they are they are migrating insects then we will discuss them later in the class right so kids thank you for the session i hope you all have liked it and yes. uh, see you in the next session bye 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 ma'am thank bye, you ma'am